Yay! Introductions! Call me Deadpool. Alright, fellow YouTubers, this is a quick review of the Dragon Ball GT pan figure. Not gonna lie, they look a little slow here. They could have. The face is kind of. I don't know, it could have made it a little wider. But hey, it's the pan figure. And I'm gonna talk about the paint job on it. It's really small. Really small figure. I mean, pan was not that big, so we will keep respect. But this, but they did pretty good on it. Um, we're gonna talk about the shoes. It's on a ball joint, as you can see there. These can move a little bit, and the knees do bend. So give her that. And this moves not on the ab crunch, but these the legs move. Has a little backpack that can be taken off. Arms do not bend, which is understandable. But even though it's a small figure, as you can see compared to my hands, these arms were put on a ball joint, which is pretty cool too. But uh, also on the figure, which I think is pretty awesome, is that as far as the paint job goes, I think they did an awesome job on the figure. And with the details, they included this chain, which is attached. But to me, the chain looks awesome. That's pretty cool. They put that on there. I love the backpack. The bandana they gave her, it's like, you know, it's attached to the hair. It can't be taken off. But I think they did an awesome job in the bane. This one part of the bang can be moved and the rest is on. So that came out good. The eyes don't look that bad. They did an awesome job on the eyes. They don't look like they're cockeyed or like she has a problem. And uh, I like how the pants have the pockets on the back. They have the wrinkles. I love the socks, how they did that. They did a pretty good job. They gave her gloves. The gloves were painted on. But it still came out pretty cool. Not too much articulation, but she can do stuff. She can sit and do cartwheels. She can sit down, you know, the articulation doesn't look like it would be that much. And it's a good little bit. Her legs only been about that much, but so she can get down on her knees, but that's pretty much it. Someone's making a very bad joke out there. I did not mean it in that way. My bad. But anyway. Um, it's not that bad of a figure. I like the color. Hair looks nice. Little bandana and a bow. Little backpack that can be taken off. That's pretty awesome, and it's just a pretty cool figure how they did it. And surprisingly, it will stand up pretty f firmly and do pretty good. You just have to lean that big head forward. See? Back, nope. It'll fall over a little bit. It'll stay. So, yeah. It's not that bad of a toy. Uh, not that much to say. Great paint job on it. It's a smaller figure. Yeah, it's a really smaller figure. I'm trying to think of a figure to compare it to random... Uh, Wolverine from the X-Men movies. You see how big he is compared to the figure. So he's pretty big. Pretty big compared to the figure. But it's still a pretty cool figure to me. And uh, the paint job came out hit, came out okay. Just the only thing is, like I said, the head looks a little bit skinny from the front. No, it doesn't look that bad now. I guess it's a thing you have to get used to. But it's a cute figure. They did a great job of paying, gave her a little smile on her face. And I like the figure. So. This has been my review of Dragon Ball GT Pan figure. Flood it. I keep saying it. It is Deadpool 1 2 Toys by K.O. Craig, and y'all have a good one. Alright. And if you have any questions about the figure, just let me know. Alright, bye. Thank you for your cooperation and watching.